I understand that every season is crockpot season, but I'm willing to argue that fall is the best of all the crockpot seasons. It's the time I most look forward to putting something in that crockpot, letting it cook all day and letting it do the work for me. My kids went back to school just today and it feels just right to be cooking in the crock pot. I have three brand new recipes for you that are gonna give you all the fall vibes. For this one, we're gonna make a turkey tenderloin in our crock pot. And this is gonna be like such fall flavor. It's gonna remind you of Thanksgiving. And hey, if it's good enough, you could actually make it for Thanksgiving, especially if you have a smaller crew coming. I also feel like it's not fair. Like you get to eat Thanksgiving once a year. It's, that's not enough. So we're starting with three cloves of crushed garlic and we're just gonna marinate these tenderloins. You can see I got um, my turkey tenderloins on special which was great for me. So they're almost like big chicken breasts, I guess. Kind of like a few different pieces. So we'll see how this works out. So we're gonna do two tablespoons of cider vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of honey, tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, and a half a teaspoon of rosemary. And then about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I have a feeling this is gonna be like a fan favorite marinade. All of these things together sound absolutely phenomenal. So you can, um, we're gonna mix everything up and then you can put this in the fridge for like one to four hours. I don't have a ton of time, so I'm just gonna do mine for about an hour and then we're gonna throw it in the crock pot. Okay, my marinated turkey tender. I'm just simply throwing these into the slow cooker. With all the marinade, all the goodies. Definitely want that uh, garlic to cook in there. Smells delicious. And then I have a cup of, you can use chicken broth, you can use water and salt. I have chicken bouillon. It's not pretty, but it will do. Cover this up and cook it on low for four to six hours. I know my crock pot, it's going to take four. You'll see. And four hours on the dot, as I anticipated, it was perfectly cooked. Definitely very juicy and lots of flavor in this. I just sliced it kind of like on the side like you would um, with a turkey breast, right? It's, it says tenderloin. I don't know if it's the actual tenderloin or if it's the breast, but whatever it is, it was absolutely delicious. The flavoring is perfection. It does have that Thanksgiving-y flavor, but why wait, right? Why not have some of this right now? And my family loves Thanksgiving, so my kids were huge fans. I just put some canned corn. I had a can of cranberry and uh, some some instant mashed potatoes. Very, very simple, um, but still really amazing. Five out of five. <laughs> hey, look at this. What do you think, Tommy? Um, five out of five. Okay, it's Mashed potatoes with corn. Mm -hmm. That is normal. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Benny? I want to take a little break here to thank One Skin for sponsoring today's video. Now, I'm not super into like beauty products, but I did notice as I'm getting older, I care a little bit more about my skin and my face and I wanna do something for me. It's funny how one day you're just like fun and it's great and you're in your 20s and then suddenly you're closer to 40 than you are to 30. <laughs> Now, the amazing thing about One Skin is that they have a patented peptide, OS1, that actually reverses the aging of cells. So this is something totally different. I'm not um, personally not like a big Botox person. If you are, more power to you. Um, but for me, uh, I like the idea of that, that my actual cells can reverse aging. That's incredible. And uh, that patented peptide that One Skin has, the OS1, actually does that, which is Amazing. Now I use the OS1 topical face supplement. This is the flagship product and this is actually a refillable container, which is super nice. So when you're out, you just get sent a, ref a refill for the package. It's really just a light cream and you use it on your face and your neck. Now I use the term cream, but it's really more of like a skin longevity treatment and it's designed to ex extend your skin health on the cellular level and address cellular aging kind of at the source, which is just mind blowing. And then I also use the topical eye supplement. This is also a refillable bottle. And this is specifically designed for that delicate skin around the eye that ages faster. And it's actually supposed to reduce crow's feet, which 
I got quite a bit of. So this is not like an overnight treatment. So because it's treating it on the cellular level, it's not gonna like, I'm not gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, boo. But this is over time. And if I start now, I'm in good shape. To get your own one skin treatment, use the code MealsWithMaria15 to get 15% off, and that will include subscriptions. Go ahead and click the link in my description box to get yours today. Next up, we have these delicious three ingredient pork chops. I'm like so bummed my camera just did not record this recipe because I'm also in a rush and I need to hurry up, but we are making these three ingredient pork chops. These are like a viral TikTok thing. I'm using two cans of this canned uh, condensed chicken soup. You can use whatever brand you have. And then I just used about a tablespoon and a half of ranch seasoning, or you can use about a half a packet. Just mixed everything together. We're gonna close this up and we're gonna cook it on, um, well, you can do like high for three hours. You can do low for like six to eight hours. Um, with the way my crock pot cooks, I'm actually gonna do it low for three hours and then I'm actually gonna keep it on warm the rest of the day because it's less hot that way because otherwise I think it would dry out. So we're gonna give it a shot. These ended up coming out spectacular. It was such a wonderful gravy on top of them. I just served mine with some rice pilaf and some green beans and it was such a nice dinner. This would also be really good with some mashed potatoes or even some pasta. For this one, we are going to make the viral chicken spaghetti. I'm gonna do it right like the guy does on TikTok, hopefully, ish. Two large chicken breasts, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It is the TikTok seasoning blend, as I call it. We do salt and pepper, two cans of cream of chicken soup, one can of rotel. Gonna mix it all together-ish. I mean, does it matter that much? I don't know. And then he said low for six hours, but we know how my crock pot cooks. So we're gonna do low for about four hours. It's definitely looking pretty good. I'm just gonna check and see if the chicken is done, which I believe it is. Oh yeah. So we're gonna take this out, dice it up, then add it back to the crock pot along with about a third a cup of sour cream and a cup of shredded cheese. I have like a cheddar blend. And then once everything is well mixed, I'm adding in cooked spaghetti or you can use whatever cooked pasta that you want. And that is it, it is that simple. And this was absolutely phenomenal. Don't forget to get your one skin discount by clicking the link in the description box and using code MealsWithMaria15. And if you're looking for more crock pot videos, click on this next video and make sure the next time you're on YouTube, you're watching Meals with Maria.